infrastructure and uh, some of the names, uh, just so you can familiarize with that. So as uh, Ruben mentioned, he's the chairman. I'm the vice chair. Uh, we have uh, several officers that are actually not here, even though there's quite a bit of us here, so uh, pretty interesting. Um, and uh, a fun fact, we're kind of the, the largest um, active student engineering organization at UTSA. And uh, we have the largest member base and the largest officer base on campus. So yeah, Michael here. Alrighty, so the previous funding that we used for last year, one of the things we like to carry out for socializing at UTSA <coughs> to bring our members and students together is our Fragathon tournament. It's a gaming tournament where we all get together, network our computers, and then simply play our video games for tournament prizes, as well as plugging our different events there so that as we get people together for something that is entertainment, we can talk business with them at the same time. Another deal we held was our officer-led uh, Q&A open forum. So instead of just kind of feeding our members uh, what we were going to be doing, we opened up the end section to get a lot of valuable feedback from them. And from it, we learned that they want to do some workshops. So one we did have uh, going on for last semester was our Python programming workshop, where we had one of our fellows that was uh, fluent enough in the Python programming that he was able to put together a step-by-step -step process with members of how to make a tic-tac-toe game using just the programming. And we're going to open up those workshops a lot this semester to other things such as Unity game development in addition to uh, Linux operating systems and computer building, which is one of the things that's close to my heart. <laughs> so here's some uh, experiences we've had from our previous events. This is our most recent uh, Q&A that we held where we got a lot of the people that are in sophomore classes, in freshmen, aren't quite sure what's going on in their uh, double E pursuits, but are now better informed as to what we have coming their way, as well as a portion of our Fragathon where we were able to uh, show the virtual reality HTC Vive to our members. We had a set of them there that they could take part in, in addition to the tournament and refreshment, and just uh, get excited about the new frontier of VR and augmented reality. Uh, there's a few more. There's our previous uh, experience with R5, as well as the team that worked on it. And for goals, promotion. So we are uh, asking of this coming year uh, $1,000, and for the deals we're going to be putting it towards will be promotion, of course. We want people to keep IEEE in their minds and to always be aware of what we have coming for them. Uh, membership events, for our members, we do have them... Um, we had them do paid views this time around. And with that, that's going to come with a lot of uh, benefits to the things that we'd otherwise be charging throughout the semester. So that's going to be a great number one incentive to keep retention as well as help them feel more uh, involved and uh, yeah, invested in what they've come to know here. As well as our professional events that we're going to be holding, hopefully we can get our s packs as well as different seminars to people we have that have agreed to come down to UTSA and share their industry experiences with the students just so we know what to expect once we graduate and continue from our education. So another thing that we're going to be focusing on is our robotics team. So previously in the past, robotics has been you know, the RAS subchapter, Robotics and Automation Society. What we're going to do to work more closely with our robotics is we're going to create two officer positions within IEEE proper and have them as our set robotics guys so we can absent, uh, keep a closer interaction with what's going on for the R5 and the robotics competition and have IEEE officers um, accounted for that as well. And those efforts for R5 are going to be beyond just the robotics. We're also looking at the student papers and the ethics portion of the competition and we're going to be lent a hand with that between our computer society our Honor Society, and our EMBS Society. And uh, Anthony here is our director for robotics. If you want to give us a little info about the team and what well, you got. Currently for this year, our Robotics and Automation Society has been growing in size. Um, at this current time, we 